with a vision to develop practical engineering aptitude among young technocrats of Benko. Pandit Madan Mohan Malveji, the founder of Banaras Hindu University, established a huge engineering workshop in the year 1919. The main workshop was being utilized for producing miscellaneous building construction items such as cast iron grill, benches and engineering equipment which includes lathe, electric fan, etc. It has a floor area of about 445 square meters. So, this is a branch. Branch. Brightness is a branch. Brand. Cup foundation. Railing. Which is a grill ka railing. Lag raha hai. Us par ka railing is a grill railing. It is a grill railing. It is a railing. It is a railing. It is a railing. It is a railing. इसके बाद फिर डिप्लोमा फिर बैंक को इस तरह से बहुत पीछे जाएंगे तो आईटी से मालवी जी ने एक टेक्निकल कोर्स यहां शुरू किया था फिर टेक्निकल के बाद धीरे-धीरे इसको डिप्लोमा में ले आया डिप्लोमा के बाद कुछ दिनों तक डिप्लोमा चला फिर आईटी का इसका दर्जा मिला और आईटी का दर्जा हम लोग 1997 17 जून 1912 में 2012 में ये IIT बना। As the campus is encompassing a huge area filled with buildings, roads and parks, hundreds of workers are involved in construction, maintenance and services, which also include amenities like water, electricity and connectivity. Though all the departments of IIT BHU are fully loaded with facilities, some major units are there to support all. Among them are the Center for Computing and Information Services CCIS, which provides every student, faculty and staff with super high speed internet, unique emailing servers, high end computational servers, licensed software and an in-house software development facility to fulfill the need of the institution. So, we have a network of 40 GBPS ka network from a very futuristic point of view. And after that, we have a network of telephone systems. We have a very optical fiber network used for the CCTV camera also in the ITBC campus. And many other applications also can be linked to it. The Central Instrument Facility offers the best quality sophisticated instruments and technical expertise to support faculty, student, research as well as the industrial research and development. This facility is one of the biggest laboratories equipped with the most expensive equipment. And uh, this facility is started from 2015 after one year of its establishment. It took nearly one and one half year to arrange the facilities as what today you are seeing. They are mainly structural analysis, morphological analysis, chemical analysis and thermal analysis. So if I name the facilities like electron microscopy, so TEM and SEM we have, we have the two SEM, also AFM we have. Apart from this, we have NMR, FTIR, XRD, magnetic property measurement system that is called the MPMS and some fabrication techniques also we have got here on the, uh, in this uh, center and these fabrication techniques mainly are the microfabrications, they are the CNC's, mill and uh, production and also the PCB prototyping and some mechanical engineering related facilities we have like uh, tribometry, PIV, particle induced velocitometry, etc. Apart from the departmental libraries, the students are facilitated with a well-equipped main library 
which remains open for more than 12 hours during weekdays and almost 360 days a year. The library has a rich collection of books, e-book and digital content. It also has a very good collection of periodicals, theses, codes and standards which are being collected and preserved since the year 1918. This library is a big sister here because engineering unit was started in 1919 in BSU. So there are many books that are unique. So as many IITs have come, there are many books. So unique titles we have a lot. The common lecture theatres are large size lecture halls equipped with projector and communication devices to facilitate hundreds of students with comfortable learning environment. The university is like a second home to the students that possesses a special place in their lives. The emotional bond with the institute never fades away and hence the alumni make random visits whenever they get a chance to. To home them, as well as the other guests, there is a fully facilitated guest house situated in the centre of the lush green campus called the Gandhi Technology Alumni Centre, which was established with a generous grant by Sri Ramesh C. Modi, a distinguished alumni from the batch of 1955. With all its ability and effort, the Institute is creating an adobe of perfect education and research.